Hello, I'm Adam from Microsoft Expert Zone, and today we are talking about the latest announcements to come from the Windows team. Specifically, we'll be talking about some new updates for Windows 11 and how it is leveraging AI to make people's lives easier than ever. We have, of course, already seen Bing Chat at the beginning of 2023 and how you can ask it complex questions to get detailed answers. But now we'll be looking at what else AI has to offer in Windows 11. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Right out of the gate, we have to talk about Windows Copilot. Announced earlier this year, Windows Copilot is an intelligent assistant that works across different apps on Windows 11 and is available at your fingertips. Copilot can be summoned with the new shortcut, Windows and C, and it can also be docked to the side of your screen, so you never have to wait for an answer. You can just open Copilot quickly and easily, and away you go. Just like Bing, uh, you can ask Copilot complex questions and get fast answers, then follow up with additional questions to get to the answer you need. Outside of that, you can ask it to change settings on Windows 11. For example, Copilot can switch to dark mode, it can turn on focus assist, and it can also troubleshoot any issues you are having with your PC. A really useful tool that I know I'll be using is having Copilot give me writing assistance. Whether it's a Word document or an email, you can copy your piece of writing, paste it into Copilot, and then ask Copilot what you want it to do. Maybe you want it to make uh, that piece of writing shorter or maybe more professional sounding. Maybe you want to add a few jokes. It's up to you. Moving away from Copilot, let's talk about apps. Uh, we'll start with Microsoft ClipChamp, which is a free video editing app on Windows 11. Now, Microsoft 365 subscribers can get additional premium filters, and with a ClipChamp subscription, you can get premium stock assets and more, but that's not what we're here to talk about. What we want to look at is how Microsoft ClipChamp can help you put together unique videos with just a couple of prompts. Now, when you open ClipChamp, you'll see you have the option for creating a video with AI. This will open up a menu where you can import your own footage, be that videos or photos, add a title, select the style you want, the length of video you want, and then open up the editor to add your own touches or just export it as it is, easy as that. So now you can take those vacation videos you've been meaning to put together and quickly create a full video to show your friends and family. The best part is that you don't actually have to wait for that update. You can try that right now. Just open up ClipChamp and get started. Now, for anyone of a certain age, you'll have fond memories of using paint. For me, it's being in school in the early 2000s, trying to draw art with a mouse and usually failing quite spectacularly. Uh, if you've used paint recently, you'll see it has a new look for Windows 11, but today we're going to talk about three new features coming to paint. First up is layers. Paint will now give you more control over how you create, edit, and organize an image. With layers, you have greater composition control, letting you edit one layer without affecting the other layers in your project. Sweet. Now, uh, next we have background removal. If you want to isolate yourself in a photo, Paint uses AI to remove the background from that image so you can isolate yourself, family, friends, whoever you like, from your photos. Finally, and my personal favorite, there is Paint Co-Creator. Co-Creator is designed to be part of your creative process. You can just give it a prompt, pick a style, and then see what ideas it can build or iterate upon. This is super useful if you're like me, and creating works of art is not exactly your strength. Co-Creator can help bring visuals to your ideas, bringing them to life in ways you might not have been able to do previously. Moving on, and seeing as we just talked about photos, let's talk about new updates to the Photos app. One of the things you'll be able to do is use advanced search. This lets you use keywords to search for photos in your library. So if you want photos from vacation or just all your pictures of dogs in one place, you can more easily search for it. Another new feature is you can use the Photos app to apply background blur to your photos. So you can open up an image and the Photos app will use AI to give you better depth to your images. Last on our list of things to talk about is the improvements to Snipping Tool. Snipping Tool has already had improvements this year, including the addition of screen recording. Now though, you'll have the new ability to extract text from screenshots you've taken, as well as redact information. That ability to redact information is particularly useful if you're dealing with sensitive info, so you can send screenshots of sensitive documents without revealing unnecessary details. And there you have it. That's some of the new features announced recently that are coming to Windows 11. As always, the rollout of these features can vary for every person, but keep an eye on Windows Update, and once they arrive with you, let us know what you think. In fact, feel free to let us know what your favorite feature was that we discussed today. But that's it for now. I've been Adam from Microsoft Expert Zone, and thanks for watching. See ya.